hi good morning good afternoon and good evening please kindly subscribe to this channel one forum news for the best in our crime stories today the murders that shocked south africa a country where 44 murders occur in a day shocks all over after the murder of a man his wife and child in a very brutal manner in south africa a country that sees 44 murders in a day this crime case has left the entire public horrified and pierced through the hearts of many. A gang of robbers gunned down a father after torture, raped and murdered his wife, and then in a final act of sickening brutality, they drowned the couple's 12-year-old son in scaling bathwater. The young boy, Amaru Vienna, was murdered to prevent him from identifying the three housebreakers who carried out the raid in suburban South Africa in 2012. The gang included the family's gardener and the son of a domestic servant. It was claimed they were motivated by the way they had been treated by the Vienna family. Appearing in court, the gardener Patrick Radembe, 24 years, confessed to being part of the gang which broke into their home. The regional court heard that, after gaining access to the house in Walkerville, a suburb of Johannesburg, the gang lay ambush in wait for Amaru's engineer father, Tony, 53 years, to arrive home. When he walked through the front door, they attacked him with a golf club and a machete-like knife known as Panga before tying him up and ordering him to tell them how to open the family safe. When Mr. Vienna's wife, Geraldine, 43 years, and her son returned to the house, they also fell victim. Mother and son were tied up in separate rooms. Two of the attackers raped Mrs. Vienna Geraldine before she and her husband were brutally murdered. According to their court confession, Radebe and his co-accused Sifo Mbele, 21 years, realized that the couple's son, Amaro, if left alive, may be able to identify them to the police. So they went to the bathroom and turned on the tap. In their own statement, I quote, We gagged him because he was crying. We forced him into the bath face down, knowing that he would drown. The Vienna's family dog was also not spared. Its stomach was slit open with a very sharp knife as he beating its intestines. Thankfully, Mr. Vienna's daughter from his first marriage, Gabriella, was not at her father's home when the robbers struck. The criminals, Mbele and Radebe, pleaded guilty to charges of housebreaking, which intend to steal, aggravated robbery, rape, three counts of murder, possession of ammunition, and intentional damage to property. The culprit's lawyer, Charmaine Casterman, claimed the men carried out the attack to somehow get back at Mrs. Vienna for the way she had previously treated them. Sad story. Please, for more, kindly subscribe to this channel, One Forum News, for the best. Thank you.